So I just got right out of seeing the Batman and I'm here to give you my quick thoughts. Welcome to Minute Movies. Let's try and give you what I think about the Batman in under one minute. So right off the bat, I loved 90% of this film. Matt Reeves completely nails it out of the park for 90% of this film. And this is the product of what happens when you let a director take full creative control and provide his vision on screen. This is a desolate, miserable film in the best way possible. The Gotham in this film film kind of reminds me of 1989's Tim Burton's Gotham, a complete miserable desolate wasteland, but this film ups it tenfold and there is no happiness whatsoever. The life of this film is completely sucked out of anything and you get the criminal underworld we all desire. Now moving on to the performances in this film, I thought they were all fantastic, but in particular Robert Pattinson's Batman I thought was absolutely great. Now there is no clear distinction between Robert Pattinson as Bruce Wayne and Robert Pattinson as Batman in this film which I think a lot of critics might arise of that where you don't get the billionaire playboy philanthropist Bruce Wayne as we saw in the Dark Knight you know with the girls and everything you don't get that in this film you get the same miserable brute playing as Bruce Wayne and Batman. Now, Batman does take quite a few hits in this film and yes he is indeed human but the film does not show you the consequences of those hits because I'm sure in a few instances my man should have had a few broken bones. Michael Giacchino score man that low bass the dun, dun, absolutely fantastic the chase sequence with the penguin riveting sound design in that instance as well with the batmobile i mean the bat charger i'm surprised bruce wayne or batman wasn't calling out family at that point with this charger now i'm not going to make a lot of sense here although the film is rated pg-13 or m-15 here in australia you kind of don't get that vibe to it you know a lot of bad and corrupt stuff is happening in this film and yes a lot of violent stuff does happen on screen however although you don't get to see the result of it because of how dark and desolate the betrayal of Gotham is and how miserable this film is, it kind of does feel like an R-rated environment. The Riddler was fantastic as the villain and yes, having only watched Zodiac two weeks ago, there are definitely a lot of similarities. However, I thought it was absolutely fantastic as well. This film is one giant puzzle and yes, Batman has to solve it. Now, as I said before, I absolutely adored 90% of this film. Absolutely loved it. However, where my gripes sit are uh, with the third act. In particular, I felt a film could have the film could have ended at a certain point. However, they take a direction which I completely thought they wanted to go big and completely abandon abandoned the grounded film they had with this dark mystery thriller and I thought it was just completely off-putting and I thought they should have ended the film a bit earlier. Despite that, I absolutely love the Batman. Definitely go check it out guys. This was Minute Movies.